Hey, what's up? David Wood here once again for DavidWoodFX.blogspot.com with another exciting GIMP tutorial for you. And in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a cool energy saber or a supercharged light saber. And let me zoom in here. This is what the effect will look like when we are done with it. Okay, so you see that the glow around it is more of a cloud-like look to it. It's got these little wisps of lightning shooting off of it. And it's a pretty cool effect. In fact, this could probably be done in After Effects, which, you know, who knows, you know, future tutorial. I might try that out. Okay, so let's get started. First thing is we want to open up this picture of, I think the name was Gregory. I'm not sure, I'll have to look again. And I just found this picture online. So, let's get started. First thing you would want to do is create the lightsaber blade. Which, to save time, I have already done that. Right there. And there are tutorials on how to do that because it's a very requested effect. I won't go into detail showing you how to do that. I simply used the Blade Rotoscope plugin. Which I've shown you in a previous video. Okay, let's see. To get started with, we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Solid Noise. And we'll take the X and Y size and boost it all the way up to 16. Increase the detail to 5 or 6 should work. Check on Randomize and check on or rather check off turbulent okay then we want to go to filters render clouds difference clouds which I showed you in the previous video the wave effect and we'll click OK and that will give us a pretty awesome effect. Okay, that doesn't look so good, right? But what we're going to do is go to Colors, Invert, and then go to Levels. And grab the middle gray slider and just push that over towards the white one until you get the effect that you want. That looks fine. Now it looks more like lightning. Okay next thing that we want to do is change the blend mode to overlay and if I zoom in here and see it it's starting to take effect it's not perfect but it is a start what we need to do now is take this layer and duplicate it go to filters recently used solid noise and this time check the turbulent option now this is slightly different than if we apply the difference clouds. It's a little more uh, fluffy, I think would be the correct word for it. We'll do the same thing, we'll invert that, and then take the levels. Okay, so we'll change the top one also to overlay. Next we also want to scale this effect. So we will grab the scale tool, select it, and just grab the corner here, push it down to about there, and click scale. Okay, and if we zoom in here, we can see that I changed the levels a little bit too much. We can boost that back up the other way. Um, yeah, that looks better. And then also this other layer, we'll do the same thing to that one. We'll select scale, and let's see, zoom out here, and we'll scale that one too. <clears throat> All right, and it looks okay. What we can do to change this is take the top layer, change it to screen, and then right click and choose merge down, and set that back to overlay. That looks
looks okay. We can also do is switch the saber layer with our effect by just switching the positions, but Camtasia won't let me do that. So we'll go to layer, stack, uh, raise layer, change the blend mode instead to hard light, which sometimes gives you a better result depending on it. Um, nope, wrong effect. Excuse me. Let me just do a comparison. Let's see, I just need to take this layer, move that one up, and set this back to overlay. Okay. Now there you can see the difference. The one with the hard light settings is sharper. This one's kind of more, I don't know, don't know the exact word. This one looks a little more lightning-ish. So we will just leave it at that. We need to take our cloud layer here and go to layer, layer to image size, and then switch our foreground and background colors around so black is our background, and go to layer, transparency, remove alpha channel. Now that won't be clipping off like it did before. And we can take this layer, right click, choose merge down. And so there's our effect so far. Not complete, but we're getting there. We'll create another new layer. And it doesn't matter what you fill it with. And this time in our patterns, we have to choose this pattern right here. It's lightning. And we'll go to edit, fill with pattern. Change the blend mode of this also to overlay. And then we can go to layer, scale layer. And scale it down to fit in there. Let's see. There we go. And then we can also desaturate that. Let's see. And then maybe bring in the whites up and bring in the grays. And colorize this. Okay. And there is the basic effect. We just have to right click, merge this one down, change the blend mode of our saber to screen, and there you have it so far. Okay, that's starting to take effect. Um, let's see. One last thing we can do is duplicate the layer and go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, Give it a high blur, around 40 or 50 should work. Let's see, and just have to bring the colors out in that, which is pretty easy. Let's see, yeah, that looks about right. Lessen the effect, merge that down, screen again. And there is our cool energy blade or um, energy saber, power saber. I don't have a real name for it. But if you can think of one, you know, let me know and then I can fix it. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, David Wood here, davidwoodfx.blogspot.com. And uh, may the force be with you.